I am back home. I had a great workout. I fixed me something to eat. And now I'm in the backyard. I'm ready to get into something. So my all of my plans as far as trying to start seeds and these seed trays got shot to pieces when we had the windstorm and it blew away my tops. And then I ended up having to bring these indoors and my seeds ended up growing long and leggy and most of them didn't make it. But when I say most of them, I'm talking about the warm season. Cool season ones did pretty good. There are some collards I got in the, I put in the ground, tatsoi, carrots. Those did pretty good the cool season because they spent most of their time outdoors under the, the, um, tops to the seed trays but when I got to the warm season they had started to come up and then the tops got blown off brought them in and they got long and leggy so I have one sunflower here and that right here oh okay that's another sunflower oh and here's a new addition to my garden family this is all-star strawberry that I got from Lowe's. Let's see. I have some tomatoes that made it. And then this is um what is this? This is a summer squash. I never grew summer squash before. So that one made it. I'm gonna take this and put it in a red cup. So I'm at the point of taking most of my warm season items and putting them in red cups and some of my warm season items didn't make it so I started over so like this one for instance this up this was a cucumber that didn't make it that I had planted in the seed trays and I started over the new seedling and you can see there's a new seed seedling coming up Also, the horseradish I showed you before, I had brought it outside. It apparently didn't like it outside and bought it back. It took it back inside, and this is what happened. But you know what? I'm going to put this in the ground, and if it come up, it come up. If it don't, it don't. All right. So I'm going to answer the five questions that Patricia um, tagged me in. And I would have did it earlier. Uh, well, earlier but it was just cold and cloudy and dreary and today is a great day to answer some questions so let's see why an allotment why do you grow I grow because I enjoy I just enjoy the whole process I enjoy having fresh having access to fresh food and um, and I do think it, it tastes better but and I also just think it's fun to grow and, and to see how everything turns out and to see how you put effort into growing a garden and then seeing the end result, especially if everything turns out, you know, like it's supposed to. Next question, why YouTube? I, when I started looking at some, um, looking at, looking to YouTube, for gardening information and then I started following some people and seeing how they were documenting their gardening journey I decided that's something I think I'd like to do and plus if it benefits someone else if it inspires someone else to want to grow their own food I figure you know why not although it was a little scary to start because I was worried that you know sometimes you put stuff on YouTube and if people feel like it's incorrect, you know, they can be a little harsh in trying to give you, I guess, constructive criticism. Next question. How long have you been growing? Well, um, this question made me have to go look, look up some stuff. And based off of pictures, the furthest I can go back is 2010 picture wise that I could find so far however I've been gardening I believe it has been since uh, either 
2006 or 2005, I think. Um, because when I first started, I had a very small plot and it wasn't enclosed or anything. But when I started taking pictures of my garden, my, my little plot was enclosed. So it's been quite, quite a few years that I've been gardening. It was just recently that I, I just went crazy, and increased uh, my size, my plots. Well, actually having more than one plot. It was I actually started that uh, 2016 when I decided to do more than one plot in the backyard. Next question: What do you grow? Let's see what's my talk. Okay. What do you grow? My, my, my. Okay. Strawberries, collard greens, kale, Brussels sprouts, uh, blueberries, green onions, squash, zucchini. Uh, I'm thinking. Um, I said tomatoes. Oh, lettuce. Tat soy, uh, curly kale. I'm trying to. Oh, cantaloupe, uh, green peppers with well, the green bell peppers. And there's probably. There is probably other items that I could name. It's just not popping off the top of my head right now. Oh, herbs. I've grown basil, mint, chives, oregano, rosemary, yeah, oh, sage, I'm looking around the yard, thyme, um, yeah, so I, I, I definitely have tried my hand at growing um, a lot of stuff. I, I'm really trying to get into growing um, more perennial things like uh, the strawberries and um, get, getting my, trying to get in to get my blueberries to do something, hopefully. So the next question is, what is your favorite thing to grow? And my favorite thing to grow, I would say, is tomatoes and cucumbers. Um, I like to see the plants come up. Uh, I like the color that tomatoes bring to the garden, the red color, and I would love to try to grow uh, other tom uh, tomatoes that have the yellow color or the orange tomatoes. I'm going to look at, maybe try to look into that. And tomatoes and cucumbers, they just remind me of, of warm season. You got the color of the tomato and the crispness, the cool and crisp, crispiness of the cucumbers, that's um, just kind of reminds me of the warm summer months, fun times. So those are my those are my answers to the five questions. Thank you, Patricia. And I would like to tag if they um, see it, see this, see this part. Uh, Hammond's Family Organic Garden and Little White Dory. So you two are the ones that I've tagged to answer the five questions. Take you long to show you. This is the uh, rhubarb. Look how it's come along. I guess it's taking root in its location. And let me see if I can focus in on this. So I'm trying to see it. You see that right there? Why? Why gardening season's just now trying to get started? And the beehive is still alive. We are going to get rid of that. The carpenter bees, they 
they're big and they just they just too close too close and I've already been stung twice so we're gonna have get those taken care of I hate to do it but um, now when they fly around the yard they make me run and this is some of my garlic um, It pretty good through the snow and the cold temperatures. So just waiting for the right time to pull them up. And the collards have served their purpose. I think these are going to get chopped down because they're all they're doing now is just producing a whole lot of stalks. Every plant I look at, they're just producing a whole lot of stalks. So a lot of my cool season stuff is eventually going to get chopped down. The Brussels sprouts. I never plucked any off. So I'll just have to keep trying to play around with growing Brussels sprouts. The tops are looking kind of weird. You know, the little Brussels sprouts are growing on, growing in there. And the blueberry, the blueberry. I need to look up what variety this is because I, I, I don't know if it's self-pollinating or if it. It needs another blueberry bush nearby, but I mean it has a a lot of flowers. It has a whole lot of flowers. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. So these strawberries here are Ozark and Loran strawberries and I usually get strawberries from them around I would say April through May and then they start shutting it down I guess about early June and that's where these strawberries come in this is these strawberries are this is two plants here I just got and these are all star. I looked them up. They're June berry. So I was, I, what I want is to extend my strawberry season. <laughs> 